Hey, Bob Gardner here from TheBraidedWarrior.com. Today, we get to explore failure. Like, in a big way, failure, and what to do when things don't work out. What do you do when you've hit a dead end? What do you do when it seems like there are no options, there's no way out, you're just stuck, you're lost, you're lost, like th that feeling right there. And so I'll share with you today an experience that I've been having, it's still going on, by the way, and give you some ideas about things that you can maybe consider to help yourself pass the moments when you're stuck. Okay, so the last few days, I made a shift in my business. There's a lot of guys that are struggling, fathers that are struggling with pornography addiction. And so I've made a shift to try and focus on giving them the tools that I've discovered and put together, a little system that I put together over the last little bit to help them get out of pornography addiction much, much faster than anything that I ever did. It took me like 18 years to get past it. And we're going to go, you know, push them through in much, much less time because I've discovered over $50,000 of real money plus time plus effort plus years of trying things and failing things and the exact things that need to be put in place for a man to be able to actually move forward with his life and not just heal but actually live in power so I get excited about this idea like you guys get excited about the ideas that you have whether you're wanting to start a business or something like that <clears throat> or maybe it's just an idea that you want to do an activity or something like that I put this whole thing together I put together a little small website with some training videos, like 20 minutes of training video um, to help people start to understand what the real problem is underneath it all and, and where the pain is coming from and stuff like that. And I, I put it up and then I start to put ads on Facebook to kind of help people get there because I want them to be able to find it and me just organically telling people one-to-one -one isn't going to help. Soon as I do that, Facebook obviously doesn't like my content. And so they don't just disapprove the ad, they disable the entire ad account. <laughs> Multiple times! So, like, because I had a couple ad accounts, so I was like, well, maybe I just had something really weird on it, and so I went and adjusted it <clears throat> to try and make double sure that I was compliant with Facebook policies, and they disabled it again. So I tried something different, and they disabled, like, it was just crazy. And so I was starting to get frustrated. And like starting to feel like nothing was ever going to work. And the next thing that happened in my brain was, why can't God help me out? Now, I'm not saying that you guys always blame God for everything. I don't always blame God for everything either. But we have a tendency to get emotional when we point the finger of blame somewhere else. And so maybe it's not God. Facebook is supposed to fix this. Facebook is supposed to not just be a computer and an algorithm that automatically disables. They should see that I really mean to help people. They should see that I'm here legitimately offering a service that's going to help the world and families everywhere. They, you know, that's the, that's the thought process that's going on in my head. And then on top of that, I feel like God's abandoned me and my family and all this other kind of stuff. What's going on inside, I start to get super emotional. And then I, I like have a real, I have a like sit down with God and I have this long conversation with him, crying, tears, like really difficult to speak sometimes. And I get to this conclusion at the end of it where I realize that even if God reached down to help me up, if all I do is sit and wallow in my misery, he won't be able to help me up. I have to actually reach up and start walking toward the help. And I realized in that conversation that my penchant for trying to blame was preventing, was causing all this emotion that was preventing me from actually seeing what solutions were available to me right, in, right there, right in front of me. And so as I worked through with this process, the emotional piece, and allowed those to let go, I suddenly looked around and I was like, well, here's the facts. The ad campaign was disabled. Um, these, these are the reasons that I know. These are the reasons that I think are the case. I'm going to go reach out to these people. They know Facebook ads really well. Oh, I can do this. I can do that. I can try this thing out and, and so on and so forth. And so I had solutions. I had options available to me. And suddenly I realized it wasn't a dead end at all. The only reason I thought it was a dead end was because I interpreted it that way. And I interpreted it that way because I was blaming other people. And I had taken responsibility and power from myself and placed it in the hands of other people to make my life better. So today, as you're considering failure, as you're considering the roadblocks you're facing, 
This is a hard question to ask yourself, but where might you be pointing the finger of blame? Not so that you feel bad about yourself, but so that you can see where you can get your power back from. If I give all my power to Facebook and I recognize that, then I know that I can come back and, and start to make decisions and be like, okay, hold on, well, what can I do outside of Facebook? If I give all my power to God even and expect him to save me from everything, well, then I'm just a victim my whole life. But if instead I say, you know what, God's going to do what he's going to do and I'm going to continue to ask for help because I love him, but here's what I can do, and this is the power that I have. Now I'm really using my capacity to choose and take action in my life. So today for Warrior Wednesday, as you're considering these places in your life where you feel stuck or there's a dead end or a roadblock, ask yourself the question, who might I be blaming? Or what might I be blaming? Because there, that's where your power is and that's where you can get your power back from.